Okay, so we're now looking at the F14 um, approach. This is a result of some changes I've made. Not a result. This is after changes I've made. I've increased lift based on testing with the heat blur F14. I come to the conclusion that mine had a little bit too little lift, and it was actually in uncontrollable uh, at the right sort of donut speed. Um, now gauges. We should be having a vertical rate between 200 and 500 staying really on the ball but we can't see the ball because it's gone away um, so our scan is AOE index at line up with sighted to the left or right we're in a bit of a Dutch roll and ball now unfortunately the ball's gone away now according to this line here we're high but that's wrong because I can tell that we're actually low um, at this point so we'll go back here and we'll just slow it down you see at this point here really that, as you can see, oh, it's all hard to explain. But as that's the ball there, which isn't working, you know, electrical failure on the boat or something, you see, I kind of expect us to be seeing the sort of front of the aircraft closer to there, which it isn't. So if we have a look from the outside, I mean, it does look pretty good. It's nicely configured, slightly off the centre line, and that's a four wire, which is really not ideal. Um, but hopefully that can give you an idea. So let's zoom back. Just, just of what I'll leave this running while I'm talking. Uh, this is just kind of what how you can expect to fly an approach. I am using the old the APC Control S turns it on. I'm going to go for full speed, um, which does really help. Um, there's a lot to do, and controlling the throttle isn't easy. Uh, it's a big, heavy aeroplane. There's a lot of inertia. The engines aren't fast to spool up. You should really, could really, might really want to have the speed brakes out because that tends to make the engine more responsive because it's working harder. I didn't manage to have the speed brakes out in this attempt. Um, but you can see what, when you've got it configured, I mean, you know, your, your pitch angle really wants to be about 8, 9 degrees. Um, and, and kind of you're balancing all of these things up um, to try and, you know, get a get a decent <laughs> decent approach in and, and recovery which that isn't but then my excuse is I'm not trying I've just been practicing a lot and it's still not right anyway enough of that